A search for survivors trapped under the stinking refuse of a collapsed rubbish dump on the outskirts of Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa. Tons of garbage collapsed onto people looking for things to sell or salvage from among the waste. Homes were destroyed. The garbage started sliding with a lot of noise. It blew up like a tornado. Then we grabbed our children and rushed out to save our lives. We left all our belongings. Some locals say the city government is to blame. We told them not to dump on the top. I think the decision by the city officials to resume dumping waste some months back was the main reason for this accident, which has so far buried at least 20 houses. The area is known as Kosh, which is local slang for dirty. The piles of rubbish cover an area of around 36 hectares. Waste has been dumped here for years. In some places, it's up to 40 meters deep. According to the UN, around 4,000 tons of garbage is dumped here every day. I heard that eight children who were studying the Holy Quran were all buried somewhere in the middle of the rubble. It's not known exactly how many people were killed or what caused the landslide. The local government says it will move some of the families living near the dump site to other parts of the city. Prime Minister Haile Mariam de Sale has expressed his condolences to the victims' families. And local leaders have promised support. Thousands of people say they have little choice but to live here, and many of the poor and destitute are forced to scavenge in order to survive. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.